uh, Dove Lake walk. Got about uh, five layers on coat, raincoat, hoodie, flannelette shirt, and other stuff underneath. They apparently ever had snow here yesterday. I'm glad the uh, camera's waterproof. I won't bring the phone out for any any filming. This is too wet. Dove Lake Circuit. There you can see snow, snow up there. The uh, the wind, and the water is just absolutely freezing. I feel like I'm got an ice cube on my face or something. <laughs> Glacier Rock. This tiny little tree has given me some protection from the wind. Yeah, uh, somewhere up there is Cradle Mountain and Dove Lake just down here. So you can do a walk right around it. You can see someone right through there. I'm being snowed on, I think. Wow. Yeah, it's like snow or hail. <laughs> that little hail. Every time the sun comes out, I'm not having a view to film the mountain. Hopefully, I'll get a shot when the sun's out. Yeah, just doing the uh, Dove Lake circuit, about two and a half to three hours. All rugged up with about five layers on. Waterproof the backpack. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, and it's snowing on me. Look here on the, uh, the jacket. Yeah. Not the, can't see much now. A little bit of sun out here. There we go. And they have the wooden paths with the chicken wire on it. You can see why all that ice. And that five minutes ago, it's being snowed on. And the sun's out. Look at the path here. Nice. Wow. A little bit of sunshine. Right when I needed it, I think. I think I'm probably about nearly halfway from the walk. On the walk. I'm going to stay here tomorrow or tonight and come back and do maybe Cradle Lake or not Crater Lake, uh, maybe do Crater Lake, I think it's called. Everything that's still in shadows is still got a bit of ice happening. Let's get up there. Gee, I bet that'd be icy. Icy cold. Quite a lot of wildflowers in here. Oh, that big. I see a tree. So a lot of these could come down at any time, I suppose. That's a good shot. Deep one. Hey, look at all the things there. 
become a greater chair. Well, this is a steep bit. It's past halfway, I'm pretty sure. That icy wind is going straight through the beanie. I've made it to the bait shed. There it is. Hmm. Little mountain, the bait shed, Dove Lake. Bus. Part of the overland track. Just saw a wombat. That is a few wombats up on the hill apparently. Just heading to the uh, Oldheim Chalet. Here's another one. everywhere. Another one up there. Judging by all the droppings there. Got a few of them. It's a whiteout, I guess. Ball time. There's a Karawong here somewhere. Ten minutes, the sign says. Down here they have like a... It's like a kind of a pandanus tree.
on that hole in there. Boldheim. Looks like they're probably still in use. I wonder if these are. I wonder if this is what you camp in when you're hiking. That's what I need. Right there. Ooh, oh, there's a uh, kangaroo down there. Or a paddy melon, I'm not sure. Just down there. Ah, I think I finally found it. What I've come up here for. This one. That would have to be it. Oh, you can go in. Oh, nice. Wow. This is the story of Gustav Weindorfer. For many years, until his death in 1932, a visit to Cradle Mountain was not complete without meeting the legendary Weindorfer and staying here at his famous chalet, Waldheim. But Weindorfer did more than simply make this area popular. He played a leading role in the creating of the superb Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park, which is now recognized as an essential part of Tasmania's world heritage. Please find a seat and spend the next few minutes traveling back in time. Seemed an unusual couple. Gustav was nearly 32 and Kate 11 years older when they married. To the amazement of local farmers, the couple spent their honeymoon camped out on the high, rocky slopes of Mount Roland. For five glorious weeks, they explored the mountain, collected botanical specimens, and gazed out over the rich agricultural land towards the distant wilderness. Gustav was seeing Tasmania's mountains for the first time. Now, this is a uh, old time chalet. Yeah, that's, really, that's really interesting. All the old wood there. I wonder if he carved that himself. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's original. That's, that's amazing. It's it sort of looks like a tree house or something. Something about a cold bath, very exhilarating. The lady at the reception was saying that there's uh, quite a few orchids out in this, in this walk. Weindorfer's Forest, dominated by King Billy Pine and Myrtle Beach. There's a photo of how it looked.
says here it's a day hut circa 1940. So this is quite nice. Oh, that's a really good. That's a good one. Like that. Kangaroos and there's a wombat right down there. I can see a couple of wombats. Carawong here. Hey, what are you doing? Getting people scraps. Is that why you hang around? Hello. I'm not sure if I have to sort of walk all the way back this way or what. There's another wombat up here. sun today. I'll we'll probably go back and film some of the things I did before. Yeah, I made the uh, trip back into the park on a on a nice sunny day. There's the boat shed right through there. I'm gonna thinking of, I'm not sure, I think Marion's lookout or something's up there. Uh, just taking a little walk to the boat shed. It's just over here. We've got some snow up there. And this is the boat shed. I think this is called Leela Lake. It's definitely a, a boots place here. Some of the tracks are actually have water running down them. Yeah, I'm not 100% if this is part of the overland track. It's a signs dart off everywhere. So I'm not quite on the overland track yet. I'm heading to Marion's Lookout and Crater Lake. Right there. Yeah, you know, when I got up this morning, tried to walk, the feet were so sore they didn't want to move. So now I'm doing it again. Well, I've just seen the stairs going right. It's a carawan. Yeah, I pulled off another layer of clothing. The sun comes out and you're going uphill. There's Lake Leela down here. I'll be getting some more. And each time it'll take a layer of clothing off the backpack gets heavier and heavier. But drinking the water from it so it gets lighter again. Just taking a sit down. Yeah, another thing too, you remember, not only are you unfit doing a steep climb, but you're getting higher too, so the 
is getting thinner. Someone's taken the L off. It's actually Wombat Pool. This is a steep bit. I think this would be one of the most welcome chairs you'd find. Maybe the Waldheim Chalet right through there. Looking down at uh, Wombat Pool. And there's the uh, car park. Lake Leela. Dove Lake. Cradle Mountain. And that's where I'm walking up there. So, see how I'm going. glad I brought two bottles of water. Yeah, I've already peeled off two layers. Swapped the uh, cap, took the beanie off. But probably when I get up there, I'll have a mind because look, there's, there's still snow. There's still snow there. Seven degrees. I passed ten, seven degrees. I think I'm coming up to Crater Lake. Bring me back on. I'll put the hoodie on shortly. Where's that Crater Lake? There it is. This is Crater Lake. Tees. It's meant to say Marion's Lookout. It looks like it says 30 minutes. Well, here I go. Up there. Yeah, we'll see if that half an hour walk is uh, half an hour. It will be uh, probably an hour. I'd say I'll get there at midday. There I go. Well, here we go. Another view of the crater lake. There's a really old wooden sign here. Marion's Lookout, 10 minutes. Overland track also that way. Must be nearly there. Still got a fair way to go. I'll be nearing some snow too. Just up there. Up there. Marion's lookout. I made it. Nearly as high as that one. And looking down at Lake Leela and Wombat Pool. Wow. Dove Lake. See ya. 
yesterday when I was down low looking up here this was quite a lot of snow all these rocks still feel really wet underneath all the melted snow seen that for a long time. Hey, all right. <coughs> oh, you keep your hand in that. Oh, clouds are back. You can drink it. Mm. Oh. Oh. You can hear trickling everywhere from the melting ice. It really does feel like I'm getting up into the clouds, not that far away. Look over there, you get a Where Eagles Dare moment. You look over there, you get a Close Encounters of Third Kind moment. It's quite an unusual feeling walking in amongst snow like this. to get to one spot and you see everyone going somewhere further on so you go a little bit further just to see what there is. Some hikers with backpacks, one guy's got shorts on. <laughs> Maybe he's from cold climate. <sighs> Getting a bit slow now. Guess the air is quite thin now. There's ice on the bit of water there. Oh, there's ice in that one too. Yeah, your boots slip out of you when you walk on this. There's one coming up here called Kitchen Hut. Oh yeah, little hut up here. Not going too far. The sign says summit walk, two and a half hours. I'm not going to go up there. <laughs> it looks so different to yesterday. There was so much snow on there yesterday. Still see it down here. In here. 
you know, I wasn't sure whether to go back to marry and look out and do a different track, but uh, this one's looking pretty good so far. It's called the uh, Face Track. Down here is Lake Wilkes, I think, and then there's Dove Lake, near Honeymoon Islands. And there's the saddle there. It's probably the only place in Australia, I reckon, that would have a potential of a white Christmas. Now I'm looking straight up at them. along this part. A little challenging bit. bit way to get back. We're going right down to Wilkes Lake there. Oh yeah I can see the track going in. I think this is pretty pretty much one of the hardest spots for the trip. My mum probably went along here when she did it Back in the 50s. I don't know why. Oh, be careful here. Well, unless I speak too soon, I'm glad I did this one going downhill. <laughs> this would have been not my cup of tea going uphill. Although I say that now, I could come across it soon. Just below the saddle here, probably maybe about 50 meters. Well worth coming. I'm glad I took this track. I I didn't even know whether to take this track. But I took it. I'm so glad I did. Yeah, I think I'm standing around uh, the area where Mum and her friend would have gone over uh, 1957. They did the hike, five-day hike. So they left Waldheim Chalet and. Uh, had to go over the saddle to get the way to Lake St. Clair without any of the pathways made today. Right, so I can go further along, right up there, because the car park's right on the other side of the lake, or go down to here. And it's still two hours to get back, so I don't know, probably be far longer to go along the top, I think. But I think I've had it for the day because I don't help so much. Yeah. I think it's starting to maybe snow again, sleet or something. Anyway, I'm going to put the cameras in the bag. So I don't have to, so I've got both hands to sort of negotiate down there. All right, see you at the bottom. It's just starting to rain, so I'll be quick. Yeah, there's the saddle. I've just sort of come down from just below it. So. Still got to get down there. <sighs> and the waterfall coming down. Oh well, if 
you like that video don't forget the thumbs up the notification button the subscribe button and welcome to all the new subscribers thanks for everyone for subscribing so there we go what a trip what a trip to cradle mountain Been fantastic all right so uh see what else i'm gonna find see you on the next one thank you A hot coffee would go really nice right now.